for this double event, but also for the single matches that you could not see but are recorded locally and will be uploaded on YouTube uh, later. So, we are starting finally on final destination. YYZ and Double T from the Netherlands versus Starcon and Zudenka. This is not the team I was expecting on the Swiss player's spot, and that that's cool, actually. Uh, because the Zelda pick is very surprising to me. I wonder what exactly uh, they're trying to do here. Uh, obviously, she will play the offensive and uh, try to set up combos uh, and finishes for uh, Zudenka and the strong hitting moves of Zelda. On the other hand, we have the Lucas Lukaoyo team, which uh, actually has been one of the well, best teams in the metagame ever since Brawl, and as we've seen with the... Uh, oh, nice back show to up smash! As we've seen with the uh, Japanese players, also very relevant in this metagame in Smash 4. And as we can see, uh, the, uh, the players from the Netherlands have already uh, some small setups, uh, not only in terms of uh, healing power, but also just a quick back throw to up smash. I really don't need any quick tool or stuff like that. Uh, gets a quick throw uh, from Lukayo and a strong up smash. Solid percent. On the other hand, the red team is having a lot of trouble just getting the stage control. Finally, Sheik uh, getting Lucas off stage. This might be it, yep. Just uh, take his time. Oh, and... Double C running it with his up smash, absolutely incredible move. Uh, you have to respect it. It's very easily punishable, but it's super strong for how, qu how quick it is. Okay, for now the the ping pong game from the red team has been a little underwhelming. Like you can see, Starcon setting up stuff, but he's getting hit a lot, and that's not what you want to do with Sheik in doubles, especially when your teammate plays in Zelda. Another featherweight. And uh, Zulinka's answers haven't been all that great, to be honest. He hasn't landed, I think, even one upper or a uh, lightning kick. Okay. Green team with the stage control. Oh, not choosing that time to kill themselves. We're getting some nice the stage of Zudenka while Sokon is far away. This is bad. This is bad for Red Team. Both of them are getting pressured, each in their uh, own corner. Okay, gets a small setup. Nice one from Sokon, reading the... Uh, Sorry, following the UI with a bouncing fish. Very quick uh, B reverse to up smash from double C and then an arrest here from the first stage. Two projects is made from one of uh, Zunenka's combos. And we have here the lack of kill power of Red Team coming into play. I wouldn't say, to be honest, that it's a lack of kill power per se, but definitely kill setup. Uh, she should probably be able to. Uh, Great opportunities and openings for uh, for Zelda, but Starcon is kind of trying to get games instead of uh, throwing his opponents at Zelenka. And therefore, they're not creating the situation they need to finish the stocks. First of all, just going up, but it, it's, it's becoming super scary. Yeah, Zelda would probably die to a back throw, exactly, just like that. Uh, YYZ went for a, a rather uh, rash. Uh, double roll to back throw, but it paid out in the end and Starcon is left to try and take more stocks. Gets one of them off, but will probably not be enough. If he gets grabbed even once, it's over. If these guys... No! Nope, they don't actually know the, the combos all that well, but they do get some decent follow-ups. Okay, some quick healing. Yeah, that's no... No small benefits, you know. <laughs> and it's like, if you don't come to us, it's no problem. We, we can have fun, just the two of us, you know. Just killing each other. Well, killing Lucas. Yeah. Stop on. Trying his best. Wonder if um, Zdenka is uh, thinking about his pick for the next game right now. The Zelda pick, like, it, it wasn't like he, he was getting abused, like uh, the KB earlier with a uh, little Mac. But um, apart from that up smash that uh, worked out very well with two kills, uh, with only one uh, input, didn't pay off in the end. They didn't create the opportunities uh, they needed, and even when they did have opportunities, 
uh, as it didn't convert into a, a very strong finisher that the that does have. So yeah, not too surprised here to see the character switch from Zudenka, and uh, not too surprised either to see the character switch coming before the stage ban, because we're in France, and in France we do things like physics, like French. Getting up the check real quick. Okay. Yeah, no, no, this chat. Yeah, you're right, Lampos. Um, I'll ask someone uh, about that later. But I, I think it's a choice. So anyway, uh, game two on Battlefield. So the, the Yoshi is out. Red Yoshi. While Zunika uh, is usually uh, it's a Sion, Sion Yoshi. Anyway, uh, Red Team is a lot of trouble. Does not have stage control at all. To be honest, uh, Starcraft is doing a good job with uh, the, what do you say, the back and forth, uh, throwing his opponents at, uh, at Zulenka. And it's starting to pay off. As I was about to say, but Zulenka is not following. Right now, he did. Got a nice uh, neutral air, which allowed uh, Starcraft to get the bounce after that. Uh, that's kind of a sense. Very nice! Waiting, actually waiting for YYZ uh, to throw at the up smash to uh, actually throw Starcon into it because look at his throw are so quick, it's very hard to combo uh, out of it or react to them. So by using Lucas up smash, they're able to actually react to the mate's uh, move instead of uh, the throw, which is usually what you do in double. Uh, and nice finish, okay. I was uh, afraid Starcon was going to hit the Gaio himself, and in the situation, I don't think anything would have killed. But Zunenka, very quick to react with the front smash. Starcon nearly gets uh, trapped into a, a B reverse control B. Uh, and you can see Starcon is, is trying to pay attention to YYZ, but he's mainly just trying to send uh, CC back towards Zudenka. He, he, he's acting like a wall, just like that. Like, uh, he makes sure that YYZ cannot come to help, but uh, on, he's really only there to, to help Zudenka build person. But as I say that, uh, he can also backfire on him, because uh, as Zudenka uh, well, didn't have safe control, oh, and he gets sniped by his mate. As Zudenka didn't have safe control, he was able to help Starcon out of this combo, and this is the second time I think this match that um, this uh, throw to Lucas up smash uh, is working. Zudenka needs to react to uh, his mate getting grabbed. It's not like uh, Lucas' smash is uh, super quick or anything. You can see the setup coming. Okay, so kind of uh, trying something with the AB. Nice one, running through uh, double C, but uh, went for a forward throw at the end. Okay, jab and smash from Yoshi will take finally uh, YYZ first start. Sakon is playing a very uh, basic based. Basics, I'm sorry, basics based uh, sheet uh, doesn't go for the extended tolerance or anything. Just wants a, a solid, solid spaced hit uh, by himself some space and try to, to ping pong. This is made and gets caught by the uh, yeah, Oresky at the end. A ASC to up smash. Lukayo has so much percent. So far, I didn't know he killed the Yoshi at grand level. At this point, he could, yeah, he could basically kill Sheik and Yoshi with any move, uh, with any stronger move like uh, Ace to side B or something like that. Why? 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 Is far from being in too much trouble? Yeah, not a lot of percent. Oh, gets clipped by Zora Spheres that Star Starcon was barely able to air dodge. Even though they, they, ha they had to, he had to come in super hard to back here. And even though Red Team, uh, they both at a very high percentage. They're still in a 2 versus 1 situation, but sadly Zulenka commits to the dash grab and grabs Sarkon. And after throwing him, gets clipped by the forward smash, and this might be it. Yep, the down throw to a pair. 
Very nice from YYZ, he does not lose his composure, uh, gets the grab. It was very scary from Red Chamber, obviously, uh, because um, as we could see during the set, YYZ was very content uh, playing uh, close to the edge, uh, repeatedly using rolls and uh, saying in kind of a, an obvious way, I won't hesitate to grab you and then uh, back throw you at the edge, so be wary, uh, try to read my options if you want, but if you miss, you die. And uh, in the end, uh, Zulinka tried to commit, uh, I think, to a dash grab to catch just that, to catch um, a retreating option from uh, YYZ, but caught his mate. And uh, yeah, we saw what happened after that.